Hi guys, uh, good evening, good afternoon, depending uh, uh, on what time zone you are. Uh, well, I wish you a happy new year. Uh, I have a good news for you that 2020 is over. <laughs> I know a lot of my friends and I know uh, probably you will also know there are a lot of people who are waiting for this 2020 to be over. So finally, 2020 is past. We are, we are in this new year already. So um, I know there are great testimonies. We all are very excited for this new year, and there are exciting things waiting for you and I. Um, well, on this new year, I just want to encourage you that God is faithful. You can trust in Him, and He will never let you down. Uh, in 2020, we have learned a lot. There were several things, several lessons, you know, different kind of experiences that we all got. And finally, when we are in 2021, and when we look back, you know, oh, I, I can say it from about me, when I look back, I thank God because, you know, even when I was in terrible situations, when uh, I went through those uh, difficult moments, God was always there with me, and He brought me thus far. I want to say this, that God loves you and God cares about you. Uh, 2020 has been uh, a, a very challenging year for all of us. And uh, we have learned a lot uh, throughout the year. And uh, one thing that we all can say that God has been faithful to us. God has been good to us and He brought us thus far. He has been faithful. He has been our protection. He has been our shield. Even though we went through terrible times, we have been uh, in terrible situations, but still uh, God has always been with us. And so now we are uh, in 2021. You know, it's a new year. And uh, for, the, for the last year, we are grateful to God for He has, uh, he has protected us. Though the things were uh, very hard, very difficult, but still God protected us and He saved us. So uh, I, I just want to wish you a very happy new year and I pray that this uh, 2021 uh, be a blessed year for all of us and I want to encourage you from the Word of God. Uh, the Bible tells us, uh, you know, in, in the book of Matthew chapter 22 and verse 37 onwards, uh, Jesus uh, answered to uh, somebody and he just told them, that you know, this is the main. This is the main commandment uh, that to love God. You know, he mentioned it, and then uh, he continued. He said, and similar to it, or equivalent to it, is to love your neighbor as you love yourself, as you love yourself. So I just want to say this that you know, in the, in the past year we have seen uh, many tragedies. We have seen like a lot of important people, a lot of. Uh, Bollywood people, a lot of uh, uh, influential people, you know, they just uh, destroy their lives uh, and they are, they are not with us anymore. Uh, and there were a lot of things, um, you know, took place in, um, in several lives. Uh, but anyway, what I want to say is that uh, no matter what you have been through, no matter what you have done in the past, no, more, no matter uh, where you were, still God loves you and He cares about you. He cares about you. You are valuable uh, in His sight and uh, you are very important for the kingdom of God. <clears throat> the important commandment that Jesus talked about is to love your neighbor. And we have already, uh, like we have been taught about you know, love your neighbor. We have taught to love our neighbors, love our friends, love our family, love our relatives, love our, you know, colleagues and all. Uh, you know, we have been taught to love our neighbors. But what Jesus said here, He said to love your neighbor as you love yourself. It's important to love your neighbor. But it becomes even more critical to love yourself. You can only love your neighbors if you love yourself. If you hate yourself for something, you won't be able to love your neighbor. If you don't love yourself, you won't be able to love your family. If you don't love yourself, 
you won't be able to show that love to anybody because you don't love yourself. You don't know how to love. I just want to say this, that God loves you, you know, that He, you know, the sovereign God, you know, one who is about everything, one who is about all, He loves you. And when, if He can love you, then you can love yourself. No matter where you have been, you know, God is faithful in uh, forgiving you. He can forgive you. Just say, I'm sorry, and God will forgive you. He is faithful. He's trustworthy. And I just want to say this, that love yourself, man. Love yourself. Don't hate yourself. Don't hate yourself. Start loving yourself. In this new year, as uh, we have already stepped in, in 2021, love yourself. Love yourself. And only then you will be able to fulfill our main commandment. Only then you will be able to love your neighbor as yourself. So I pray that this new year may be a, a blessed year for you and um, a year of growth, a year of prosperity. And uh, I really want to wish a very happy new year to you. Keep loving yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. And this, this new year, make this your resolution that I will love myself. I will care about myself. I will uh, take good care of my, my health. I will take good care of myself. I will love myself. And when you will start doing it, trust me, you will be able to love your neighbor. You will be able to love your neighbor. So may God bless you. Uh, if you have not followed our channel, if you have not followed our page, do it. So you will constantly get our updates. Whenever we will post any new video or any new message, any new song, you will get an update. So do subscribe and also click on the bell icon to get the notifications. Once again, a very happy new year. May God bless you.